they ain't believe me. These niggas die to me. Look what I'm becoming. That I did it made a man of me. All the that I did, I swear my mother. What it do, YouTube? It's Ty Fetty with the Fetty back at y'all another video, man. Y'all know why we here. To handle business, but before we handle that business, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'ma say it again. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'ma say it one more. Matter of fact, like, comment, subscribe. Fuck, I beat you up. Y'all know what's going on, man. We got FBG gang, man. The fall of Chirac's most savage hitters. If you know, you know, man. FBG then definitely took a couple losses in the last couple months, man. Sad to say they didn't lost a couple of their primary members. And we gonna tap in. Y'all know inside a spotlight. No, inside a hot spot. I'm tripping. I'm a little sleepy. Guess what time it is, y'all? It is 6 12 in the morning. I'm grinding for y'all. I'm up right now grinding. This is what I do for y'all. You hear me? Instagram is right here, man. Look, tap in with your boy, man. Hit that follow button. DM me questions, comments, concerns, video suggestions, video recommendations. Let me know what I can improve on. With all that being said, man, let's get it. Type shit like that. Oh, wow, 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 wow. To even know. And, and, and I know what I'm on. Oh, yeah. My boy's on. And we're going to come. Because I know they're not going to play about me. They gonna. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, sure. and once we come, it's, it's on. Ain't no stopping on my kids. And I'm not playing with nobody this year. Like, oh, who you is. Who you think you is. Who you say you is. Where I'm from, we call that good perp, y'all. Perp is like, you hear me? You dropping your nuts. You hear me? You, you telling them shit. That's good perp. He dragging. That's what we say. They jive. Shawty dragging. That's good perp right there. You hear me? That's good perp, duck. That's good where, perp. Where y'all them contracts at? Where Dutchy them contracts at? Where Cash them contracts at? You only got a contract on duck, huh? Police believe was committed by four people who jumped out of two cars on a busy Gold Coast street. Yeah, that's crazy. They walked Shorty down. Chicago rapper in the most FBG safe duck part of Chicago. In August of last year. He got back that's though. Crazy. Now. He trusted. Hey, yo, squad. What's the drill? That's the only thing, bro, with the whole internet, the whole speculations, bro. Man, he ain't get backdoor, bro. Shawty was one of he was a top op. That's what happened, bro. He ain't get no backdoor, bro. And it's crazy that you even gotta like you hear me like, I don't know, bro. This is where I stand on the whole gang thing in the trenches off the porch, bro. You know what your kid was into, bro. You know what your kid was doing. You know what your relative was doing, your your niece, your nephew, your cousin, whatever. So, what he doing, you know where it leads to, bro. It's damn near two places, bro. I don't even got to say it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, when it do happen, you can't get on the net. You can't get on the internet and say this and say that about back. Like, come on, bro. You know what it's going to lead to, bro. If you really feel that way, nip it in the bud, bro. Like, a lot of people say they there's only much, so much you could do. They're going to do whatever. Man, shit, me. She, my father put belt to ass. I'm telling you. It's been times I was about to get into something. I'm like, oh, I don't even feel like dealing with my father. I don't feel like fighting him today. I don't feel like boxing cuz today. Not today. Maybe tomorrow, not today. You hear me? If you, you, that's the problem with a lot of parents, bro. They don't enforce, bro. My father, always, my father is my dog, bro. Like, anything happen? I know for a fact he got my back. We butt heads 24-7, but I know for a fact he got my back. But one thing he always told me that always resides in my head, I'm not your friend. And a lot of parents try to be their kids' friends, bro. You could be cool with your parent. Like I said, my father, my dog. But I know for a fact, before he let me go down some road and crash out, bro, he going to pull me up. I'm your father, bro. You tripping. You out here tripping. A lot of parents don't do that, bro. And that's a, like... Especially in this generation, bro. The parents really be 15 years older than their kid, bro. I don't understand it. I don't. I don't. And I'm this coming from me. Like, I, I get both sides, bro. I know why a parent would want to be cool with their kid. I understand it. They want to relate. They want to have the best relationship they can. But at the end of the day, bro, you is that kid parent, bro. It's your job. It's your responsibility to keep that kid in line. It's your soul. That's your job as a parent. It's your job. I don't care what nobody say. That's your job. Keep that kid in check. Don't let that kid step out of line. 
A lot of parents don't do that, bro. And it, ends, it, it causes a lot of things, fool. Like, that's just how I go. Back with another video, man. Hard truth. I'm a, I don't got no pics, though. Y'all know I'm going to tell y'all every time how I feel what's on my brain. I ain't Love doing for it. I don't care who would have been. You up, then Take it up with somebody else, not Ty Fetty, because Ty Fetty don't care. Famous gangs in Chicago. Because I know what I'm saying gang. is law. Learned firsthand that the streets only got temporary wins. They had one of the biggest rappers out to shine, had the respect of members. For sure. Some of the city's most savage hitters. For but sure. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Now they've lost the war, and even worse, most of their crew. One of the biggest falls from grace witnessed in plain sight. Yeah. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to the business. business. I'm the telling you. Chicago gang, Flyboy gang, widely known as FBG, is mainly associated with STL EBT on 63rd and St. Lawrence. What many people don't know is that FBG wasn't even the original name. The founder members, FBG Dutchy and FBG Young, had the name GMB, but a crew in their school in eighth grade already had the name, so they changed it. The Flyboy Gang, aka FBG, and was mainly trying to push music at the time. I'm gonna say, so what? Uh, what was the reason behind the group? Like, was it, did it start off as music, or was it some other shit? It was some music shit. Music. Duck was among the old. It was just music, huh? You from the deep death trenches of Chicago, and it was music in the eighth grade. And yeah, all right. You hear me? I don't know, bro. Maybe I'm just not meant for the industry. Maybe I'm not meant to, you hear me, be on a platform, bro, because I'm going to tell you straight up what it is, bro. If I'm doing something, I'm standing on it. Nah, that shit was well, for music, man. We was trying, you hear me? We was trying to protect ourselves, bro. We was trying to make sure nobody came to our turf, came in our territory, and then they could step on us. But it was music, though. We can let them rock. We well, can let them have it. We can let them have started. it. I don't know if the three of them knew just how big a movement they began back then. So who actually started uh, FBG? Mm -hmm. It should me. No, hey, you ain't, ain't seen you smoke nobody. Yeah, me. <laughs> uh, <I'm about. laughs> he been running around the circle. The youngest were creative with it, too, wanting to separate themselves from just the regular, degular crew. They did something different, giving each member numbers to their names. As time went on, FBG became something huge with many popular rappers, I mean trappers turned rappers, getting their numbers. While the exact order and numbering of each member is sketchy, some platforms online give insight on who got what numbers. FBG was on the rise. The crew got huge. Some of their main members and affiliates of the movement was Dutchy, Young, Duck, Duck's older brother FBG Brick, Young's older brother FBG Cash, Wooski, Butter and K.I., King Yella, FBG Creed, Lil J, and Billionaire Black. God. Chicago oh. Grill was taking form and ops like Keith and Dirk and them was gaining traction. The music went from being a way out to a main way to taunt ops and FBG wasn't going to sit back and take disrespect from nobody. FBG Duck would come out swinging with FBG Anthem while out, and FBG Young and Dutchy, who back then went by the rap aliases DJ and Mello, dropped the banger hitter music. That was the beginning of what would become one of the few groups able to rival popularity on the mic with the ops. Y'all know it's crazy, bruh. I seen a tweet earlier, right? Shawty said, man, these young niggas out here got Glocks. Don't got $100 in their pocket. Shit just makes sense, bro. Nigga like me, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. No, no group can come to me and be like, bro, rock with us, bro, or we gonna we we this, and we just gonna slide. Man, we all broke, bro. We gonna go. I'm trying to go get some money. Like like I always say, without no money, young, you can't have no fun, young. I don't care what you talking about. I'm trying to go get some money. You hear me? I, before I slide on the ops, I'm sliding to the to a bank. Try we gonna try hit the bank. I ain't trying to spank no ops. I'm trying to go spank the bank. That's just what I'm like, man, I don't care. How, from a kid, bro, I wanted some chicken. I wanted some cheese. Them Jordans came out, I wanted them. My folks were just buying me every pair of shoes I wanted. I wanted them drinks myself. I wanted some chicken. I'm not worried about no ops sliding on them, none of that. You hear me? I'm on defense, bro. Some have, somebody try something to me, of course, I'm going to protect myself. I'm not out here just out. No, bro, I'm trying to get money. I don't get it. I don't get it. That's why I, I I don't understand. I like the streets. Okay, you you sometimes you born into that, bro. You get you, you a product of your environment. But the whole gang thing and we man, that shit man, shit goofy. Keep was My the first mother. to make it big. Dirk and Reese and them was next to get that spotlight on a no grand bat. scale. But FBG had their trump card. Big clout FBG Duck, who became a big dog in the streets and had the respect and power that took the FBG brand into fame status. Concerts, schools, Duck was doing his thing. 621, y'all. Thug. Work. Hey, 
FBG Young no, I'm not your known friend. as Manny would launch Clout Boys Entertainment with the intention of signing FBG Artists. He's really shooting no accident. FBG Young and FBG Dutchie that would banger. drop the music video for the Hood Banger Murder. And you can see everybody from Wooski to KI to Duck in the video and the crew rocking the Clout Boys Entertainment merch. In a Zach TV interview with Dutchie and Young, credit was given to Dutchie as the one who came up with the Clout Boys Entertainment name. It originated from his time in the pen, and when he got home, he stamped and sealed it with the game. First of all, man, what's the name of the label of the group? Uh, Clout Boys, man. Clout Boys NT. How you come up with that name, Clout Boys, man? How, how you talk about that for a minute? I mean, like, shit, I came home, they was so clouded up in the streets, and I was, and they count, you know, everything ring, man. I'm shorty, I'm going crazy, clouded up, like, man, you Clout Boys, as soon as I get home. It was looking like FBG was a well-oiled machine that was taking over the streets and the airwaves. But popular urban news YouTuber Trenches News exposed that allegedly there were red flags of FBG's demise early on. According to him, he was with them at the start of their rise and was helping take the group to the top with things like getting their songs on radio and getting them show gigs. That's where he noticed the first real red flag of their fall offs. It was a show in Indiana he got them. The promoter allegedly paid Manny 7500 to bring Duck, Billionaire Black, Creed, and Lil J and let them handle the door and keep whatever they got at the door. According to Trenches News, Manny set it up so the person he put at the door would take all the money and split it with him. Man, look. He gave them $7,500 for the show, and he let them hire the dope. He let us hire the dope. So that means all the money we get off the dope, we get to keep. Well, Manny put cash out baby mama on that dope, and that bitch took everything. Shout out to her, though. But hold up. Trenches News claims that Manny tried to swindle Duck and them and only said he paying them $75, and Manny was hoarding all the paper for himself and his kids. Manny tried to get Creed $25. He tried to get all them something, but he wanted to get his kids all the money and shit. On my mama, Lil J Flip, everybody's arguing and shit. And that was the red flag. Seemed like that wasn't all that was going on behind the scenes. Duck was blowing up and the hate started to creep in some of their veins because of that. Maybe that was something that could smoothen out over time, but once the ops started getting the upper hand in the beef, it would lead to the one keeping everything together to lose his life. It started with somebody who wasn't FBG, but was close to him, especially Duck. Tuka was Duck homie for real, and when he was murked on January 12, 2011 at the bus stop at 63rd and St. Lawrence in the Woodlawn neighborhood, that started FBG's path to self-destruction. Founder member FBG Young recalls that that hit was the first body that really had a huge impact. It took me back to like losing, losing Tuka, like the first person that, that got killed and shit, that shit. From there, the beef just kept taking until it chipped and chipped away at the FBG gang. April 2014, the woman that they called a female assassin followed Tuka to the grave when they caught her lacking and ended her life. But neighbors say Barnes and like, were walking along the sidewalk when it started. When the bullet. Look, y'all, that's what I'm saying. You with me? Like I say, like I always say, bro. The rappers that made it out of Chicago, bro. I don't care what part of Chicago it is, bro. They blessed, bro. It's a miracle. I don't care if you Polo G. I don't care if you Juice World. I don't care if you Herb. I don't care if you Chief Keef. Dirt. No, no. They made it, bro. It's a miracle, bro. They probably got... They probably demanded more funerals than weddings, bro. More funerals than graduations, bro. More funerals than... Feel me like... That's crazy. More funerals than job interviews, dog. When you really sit back and think, like... I am, shawty. Like, they really made it. Kudos to them, bro, for real. The theater was so powerful. She Crazy, bro. Residents who do not want to be identified say Barnes fought to live, but had been shot at least nine times. That's crazy, in dog. In the neck and in chest and in the leg. Females, males, mm -hmm. kids, elderly, like. Nine times. Man, these niggas don't got Barnes no pics for streets to Northwestern over. Where she Get out them joints. If y'all in the streets, get There's out. been heavy debate about if she was really like that in the streets, but one thing's for certain, her name even made national news for being a shooter and an assassin. After old block gangster Davon Bennett, a.k.a. King Fonz, passing, cops would release documents labeling the FBG op as the shooter. It was like a domino effect of bad news. According to the trenches news, FBG Duck, the one that made FBG popular to the masses, began distancing himself from the crew. Only later we find out why. Billionaire Black also allegedly distanced himself from the crew. After that, it was a big old breakup. Like, Billionaire really fell back off them. Duck really fell back from doing shit off them. This the early stage. This like 2013, 14 now. 
Duck Ben fell back off them niggas. Y'all just didn't know. And Lil J, Lil J tried to take the whole record label. If, if hey look, if it wasn't for me, Patton Cowboys at the table with Manny telling Manny how to do that shit, Illinois State Secretary of State. On my mom, Lil J with her own Cowboys right now. Things started to look shaky. Hold on, yeah, I gotta get something to drink, bro. I right, nah, no way, no, 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 no. I'm thirsty. I'll be back. I wasn't capping. If you know, you know. Old time. Get that mango old time. I don't know if y'all got these where y'all from, but it's, it's a mess. My mother, I was thirsty. I'm grinding. I'm up. We up. Fatty Mafia to the moon. Cheers. Let's get back in the video, y'all. Achy for FBG, but in the public eye, they was giving O Block and them a run for their money with Big Cloud at the forefront. But slowly, the losses hit closer and closer to home. July 2017, FBG Duck's older brother, Jermaine Robinson, aka FBG Brick, was taken out. Not only was FBG Duck hurting, but Mama Duck had to hear the hurt of her son being right. lost to the deadly feud in the streets. FBG was getting attacked from all angles, externally and internally. Turns out Lil J started doing some foul things to the click and acting was brand on, new. Dog. Bro was milking the Cloud Boy's brand and even was nicknamed King Cloud. But what's worse is that bro was getting sticky fingers and even started stealing from Duck. Like I said, niggas stealing, all that shit, taking shit, thinking they can get away with it. Hell no, nah, cause you, you can get away with it cause you know whatever I tell folk them, they gonna fall back. You Did he steal from you or one nah. of somebody? Also for real, he stole some little petty money. Duck saved him from being. Ain't no such thing as petty money, bro. You still, you still. One thing I hate is two things I hate. Like really, genuinely hate a thief and a liar, dog. Nine times out of ten, if you my dog, I, you you scrape, bro. I got you. You need this, I right, I'm a, you with me. You still for me, bro. There ain't never no coming back, bro. You you that's goofy, bro. That, you was scared to ask, bro. I can't not. Nah, uh uh. And a liar, bro. A thief and a liar, bro. They go hand in hand. Murked by his partner, his butt instead gave the green light to put paws on Lil J. But all that happened, and his place in the crew got X'd out, especially after he went to the pen. Well, well, because it seemed to be like some problem going on with, with the encounter. Was he with y'all before he got incarcerated? No. Why wow, the people don't know that, man? Right, they don't know a lot of shit. That's what they they just going off of what we used to do. You feel me? How close we used to be. That's what they going off. You feel me? If niggas don't know, we weren't talking a long time before. He even went to jail, you feel me? It was like a year. He came out on his own wave, continuing to push his own movement and cut FBG off. Where do y'all stand at now? What's going on with FBG? I said, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just living my best life, living how I've been living. Shit, solo dolo my team. How you been living? If you know, you know. Go look up Lil J on Twitter and see what pop up. If you know, you know. It hit different. It do your homework. It hit different. Well, my WTF <laughs> whatever, shit, man. Oh, what FYBJ may say, it, it, it do hit period. different. <laughs> well, my WTF do your homework. Shit, that's it. That's all. The FBG numbers were failing, and with it, the crew was too. FBG Duck started realizing something fishy was going on with his manager, Manny. Turns out, bro was back dooring Duck with his contract. That's crazy. He signed up to a bogus deal. That's crazy. He got back door by my. He trusted. And when I say back door, I don't mean no. And set him up, or you know, when I say back door, I mean everything my son worked hard for, and I'm tired of holding my tongue. According to Mama Duck, when FBG Duck realized bro was getting done dirty, he wanted out his contract, but Manny told bro no. Trench's news also told the story about how Manny that's crazy, dog. You call somebody by name, Lieutenant. Uh, Lieutenant mean you got rank and you did something. So that let me know that they trying to put a jacket on his name that he wasn't like. Because everybody I asked and that's in the hood, how was Tuka? Because I really don't know. Manny was holding Duck hostage and making all the bank while Duck wasn't getting the money he deserved after taking FBG mainstream. FBG Duck's track Soul Burn is allegedly inspired by the situation with him and Manny. If y'all listen to that song Soul Burn, he was talking about his ass. He realized what this was doing, T. Mama Duck said some devious allegations. Duck was in talks with Sony to sign a record deal, and he thought the deal That's was crazy. legit. But what he didn't know was that Manny told the label that he was signed to Cloud Boys Entertainment and did a bogus contract, so now everything goes through him, label money and everything. She says Manny was just using Duck and Cloud Boys Entertainment to be a front. Even with all this, 
Duck was still around. FBG Duck had a fighting chance in the streets and with music. See, this this, this is what I don't get, bro. You want to beef with this op, beef with that op, slide on this op, slide on that op. And you got niggas like that that you letting slide. Come on, bro. That shit ain't lost, shawty. You, man, ha handle the internal first and then go to the external, bro. Like, they had all this going on and they know what's going on behind closed doors. That's dumb. That's they think. But you want rap, rap, rap beef this, sneak this, this, like put his name in the song, man, take that shit up with your manager. And this is why I be by myself, dog, because I just don't, I think different, bro. I look at shit different, bro. I really sit down, analyze thoroughly and, and, and look at situations for what it is, bro. A lot of niggas don't do that, bro. That's why I don't be with niggas. Strike and blow for no cap. FBG will come on August We see it all the time, bro. FBG Duck was assassinated in the Gold Coast area, a luxury and boutique shopping district near the city's downtown. Erica and Brad, a man and woman, were seriously injured in the shooting, but their friend, a rising Chicago rapper, did not survive. Cops arrested and charged five old block members with the homicide. That's Charles crazy. Higgins, aka C Murder, Kenneth Robertson, aka Kenny or Kenny Mack, to Carlos, also known as Los, Christopher Thomas, a.k.a. C-Thang, and Marcus Smart, a.k.a. Muwa. Cops will release more reports That's stating crazy. that King Von was the mastermind who put a 100K hit on Duck's head top. Once Duck was gone, FBG really at this point went with him because he was the only one that was putting the gang on the map. To make matters worse, FBG Young's brother, FBG Cash, also lost his life on June 10th, 2022. Mm. Cash was in a vehicle with a shorty at approximately 5.30 a.m. in the 1600 block of West 81st Street. Chicago crazy, dog. Or sedan pulled up and the op Chicago is and crazy. Blew up. FBG Cash didn't make it. His brother, FBG Young, had become numb to all his friends lost. But when his blood got lost, that one left a scar he couldn't hide. Like I say, like, I, I done blocked a lot of shit out just to being like, just to losing all my friends. I just blocked a lot of shit out just to even deal with that shit, just to not get to in my, in my feelings about the shit. But like losing the brothers, that shit like bring out all your emotions. Mm. All of the main members who was the face of FBG was either deceased, in jail, or just falling back and focusing on their life. Billionaire Black, King Yella, and Wooski are doing their own thing. Wooski never really was the same after surviving that headshot. Rumors are he called it quits with music. Who could blame him? Many of the people he came up with are gone. The sad thing is, even now, Mama Duck claims she's fighting for her son's legacy. She tried to release a Duck album titled He's Back but claims Manny had it taken down and still is saying that Duck is under contract so the music is his. I dropped that That's He's crazy, Back bro. album after Duck passed away. Um, it was took down because we got an email saying we are um, releasing music from their artists and we don't have the rights to do it because that's they artists and we can that's be crazy sued. bro she even says manny owes duck 800k it's messed up to see where things have gone with the fbg gang for real fbg dutchy and fbg young are trying to keep the fbg legacy going by continuing to make music but many have already given fbg the l and stopped talking about them like the notorious gang and movement they were the streets took it all away. They were kids raised by the streets that made a crew which took over. Now all of that is just a thing of the past. It all fell apart. Right? And that's why I tell y'all, bruh, I don't care what you're talking about, bruh. Everything y'all do for these people that I do it for, as soon as you go, bruh, nobody talk about that shit no more. And y'all know that. People know that, bruh. They still they, they still do what they do, bruh. Like, all that shit, that shit is a, like, I'm not gonna say a scam, bruh. It's just you you moving backwards, bro. Like you doing all this for people that once you go, this shit out the window. Nobody cares, bro. Nobody life stop. None of that. Only people who life stop is your blood. That's it. Even your best friend, life not gonna stop. Your best friend still gonna go and try to get with this girl. Still gonna try to go get this money. It ain't never gonna stop. Your mother gonna grieve her whole life. Her your father gonna grieve his whole life. Your blood brother gonna grieve his whole life. Besides that, bro, nobody care for real. They care in a moment, but once that shit said and done, nobody, you hear me? It ain't just, man, niggas, I'm telling you, I see it. I, <laughs> you feel me? It ain't nothing I don't know. It, like, it don't, like, man, like I always tell y'all, man, stay out the streets, bro. It ain't nothing in the streets. It ain't nothing, man. Go get some money, bro. Focus on your craft, bro. Keep your head down and you gonna be all right, man. With that being said, it's Ty Fatty with the fatty. Make sure y'all stay smart, stay dangerous. I'm going to catch y'all next time.
I'm gone.